For those of you who don't believe that this mitt completely removes lipstick in one swipe, here we go. So I already added a little bit of water and now I'm going to use this cleansing balm stick. So swiping it on this, here we go, and now, so no editing, no nothing, here we go, fully removed. I'm so sick of cakey makeup looks, so I've been using this technique and I'm obsessed. All at once, apply all your cream products just like this. The key is to use a setting mist. This stops the product from drying out so you can blend it. But it also infuses the makeup with the setting power of your setting spray. So now I'm going to start blending. And I start with the concealer because that's the lightest color. And it's really easy to blend because it's nice and wet from the setting spray. When blending the products go from light to dark, so I started with concealer, moving on to now foundation, and then the blush, then bronzer, and contour. Along the way, feel free to mist your face as you go to re-dampen everything. The great thing about this is instead of applying foundation over your whole face, and then applying concealer on top of that, blush on top of that, contour on top of that, and bronzer on top of that, this is technically a single layer of makeup, even though I'm wearing five different products. My typical makeup technique would end up with me having like five or six layers on and it just doesn't look natural. So with this technique, I can wear everything. It looks so natural and it stays all night. Look how beautiful that is. Try it. Ten makeup tricks I wish I knew earlier. This is my favorite foundation hack. All you need to do is pump your favorite foundation in here, fill it up, and it's ready to be used. So easy to apply, it saves products, and it's also travel friendly. Use setting spray and blend with a sponge. This will make your base blend out flawlessly and it will last longer. If your concealer doesn't match, it's okay. You can mix the lighter and the darker shades to match your skin. No need to find one exact shade that may not match your skin tone. Achieve the soap brow look without the soap. I did mine by using this lash kit and it will stay lifted for about a month and you can redo it whenever you want. Using darker shades of foundation and full contour. For a rounded nose, try my exclamation contour. This trick is worth trying and you'll get amazing results. Who says blush is only placed on the apples of your cheeks? Try this technique and you'll probably start doing it every day. For more on the lids, do half-winged eyeliner as this will help your lashes appear longer. Brighten and open up your eyes by highlighting around the inner corners. Skin color eyeliner for waterline and make sure your lashes are lifted. Mix some of your lipsticks and you'll be amazed when you get your perfect nude lippy. No. No, 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 no. Exactly. I feel like that is actually such an easy way to get the lifted look. Let's try it. I'm going to use Colourpop Pretty Fresh. So we go from the bottom corner of the mouth. Bottom corner of the nose. And then the outer part of the eye. Straight up. I'm going to blend it with the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. And she kind of dragged it up just to diffuse it to stat. And then I'm just going to do tap blending. Okay, we have the side with the lifting technique and without. Did it work? Does this side look more lifted? The thing is, I'm extremely pale. So if you had a tanner complexion, I feel like you would have a better result. But I actually like the technique a lot. So would you try this hack? Now you know I had to try that. Open this up. 
I don't know why mine looks like it's been run over by a car, but that's fine. I kind of want to try the red. So I have it out of the packaging now. Okay, and I'm supposed to break this. Oh. Is it working? Uh. It just broke. Okay, I had to like push it and then like I squeezed here and then it worked. Not as flawlessly executed as Meredith. But now let's apply it. Okay, I hate this color on me. It looks like I just ate spaghetti. Gonna throw over a gloss. What color should I try next? and drag down your eyes. I used to always do my eyeliner like this in high school because I wanted my eyes to look smoky, but I figured out a better way. First, I start by adding a little bit of liner to my upper lid. This prevents my eyes from looking too bottom heavy. I'm gonna take some brown eyeshadow on a small brush and run that on your bottom lash line. If you want it to be a little more dramatic, go in with a brown gel liner instead of black and just add that to your waterline. Now look at the difference. Your eyes will look smoky and captivating without looking way too harsh. 